All right, people. I uh, hope that you're feeling better. We are out of all competitions this season. And I'm going to try to score my players because they can't score on the pitch. Do you see what I'm trying to say here? I'm going to score them, give them some kind of value, some kind of number because they don't put any number on the pitch. So I'm scoring players in this video or you can call it player ratings. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. Still discouraged, still depressed, but life goes on. Tomorrow is another day. God is good all the time. So, <laughs> Chelsea dominated the game in every aspect of the game, but it doesn't mean anything at the end, my friends. Good strategy today, tactics stop spot on if you are honest on enough with yourself. I, I don't think anything else that the manager could have done to make the situation better because somebody was going to complain about something. You play so offensive, no, why are you so open against Real Madrid? You play defensive to hit them on the counter, oh, why are you sitting back knowing that this is the last game uh, we have to score goals? So, Chelsea is a, is a weird team, right? Even when we play good, we lose. We manage to lose the end of the day. You play bad, you lose. You play crap, you lose. So what is even the point? <laughs> Anybody that will be on that pitch, we just can't score. You can blame whoever you want because that's what we do at Chelsea Football Club. But look at the statistics here. Shot, 19. Shot on target, 6. Possession, 55. Passes, 549. Pass accuracy, 90%. Every single aspect spot on. Now, it's the manager to blame. Because Lampard needs to be on the pitch and tell <laughs> Mark Kukurea to, to, to shoot and score. God is good. So, anyways, people. Let me just uh, say thank you for everybody that was there on Soka IQ channel because I had hard time over there. So you, you were there helping me out because I couldn't finish the show myself. So if, uh, if you don't mind joining the channel Soka IQ, the link is going to be in the description down below. Um, the telephone always open for people to call on free. We do watch alongs, call in show always. Join us, come cry, and come celebrate <laughs> with me. Anyways, people, without wasting all your time, let me go and start by the manager. Frank Lampard today, for me, I'm going to give him 5 out of 10. I think that uh, the formation was spot on. You know, the starting 11 spot on, tactics spot on. The only thing that we missed in that game was scoring goals. Because you don't open up from the beginning against Real Madrid. The first half, we went toe to toe. We created more than three clear chances. N'Golo Kante didn't score. Marco Correa didn't score. Kai Havert didn't score. And you can't ask for more. Unless if you have some kind of agenda and a mindset told certain passport that you just don't like them but if you are honest enough and you love god at least you can tell the truth to yourself look at yourself and, and lie to yourself five out of ten probably he could have done better but we've seen all kind of formation all kind of players all of them they just do the same <laughs> if we started Mikhailo mudrik somebody was going to complain and make theories if you started Mason Mount, somebody was going to complain and make theories. It's a lose-lose situation. For me, 5 out of 10. Thiago Silva, 6 out of 10. We conceded two goals, but I'm not going to blame him because he's, he's 128 years old. He's tired, but he can play even better than 23 years old. So 6 out of 10. 
Conor Gallagher, another guy that people tried to sabotage because of his passport. Nothing to do with football. The first half, he was immense. The second half uh, was so-so because we tried to, to go for it and win. And then when we open up, we conceded goals. But none of the goals came from him and he was taken off. And when he was off, we became shambolic. Kepa Abrakadabra, Mr. Arisa Balaga, is going to get 5 out of 10 from me. Today, I can't really blame him. Or probably I might even give him 6 out of 10. Yes, he conceded two goals, but both goals today, I didn't see anything to do with Kepa. The defense didn't help him at all. I always complain about long range shot, top corner, top beans and all that. But today, I can't really blame Kepa. 6 out of 10. Let's be honest. Even if I don't like somebody, I have to give that person credit. That's how I was educated. You have to tell the truth at any cost. Okay, very quickly because they don't really worth my time, right? Uh, for Fana, 4 out of 10. He's part of the defense that conceded 2 goals, but he was, he was good. Rhys James put some crosses. Nobody was there. 4 out of 10. Could have done better. Could have defend better. But today, he did better against, uh, against uh, Vinicius and, and other players. 4 out of 10. Mason Mount, he came off the bench. He didn't have really enough time to impact anything. But, yeah, we didn't score. So, 4 out of 10. Mikalo Mudrik, I'm going to give him 3 out of 10 because... He had a one-on-one -on -one chance. Of course, he was offside, but he didn't even know he was offside. He missed it. You know, everybody wanted him to start. But when he's on the pitch, he's not scoring. He's not doing anything. I still have hope that he's going to improve next season and he's going to win the Ballon d'Or in a couple of years from now. But for now, he's still, you know, trying to adapt a Chelsea football club. Three out of ten. Uh, let me go to Joao Felix when he came on he didn't do anything I'm going to give him 3 out of 10 one of the actions that really tells you everything you want to know about Joao Felix he dribbled past like 2 people he took the ball literally from, from our defense dribbled past few people 3 options in front of him he delayed, delayed, delayed and then until the ball was taken away from him just tells you everything you want to know about him most of the time very selfish in the final third or always will make the wrong decision three out of ten but listen i want to keep joao felix for some for some reason i will keep him at chelsea football club because i still believe if we have a proper coach so far for like four years we haven't really had any proper coach that develop our attackers if you look at Vinicius Jr., you look at Saka, you look at other attackers that were average and they are, they are getting to the world-class level. And you look at this guy here, Joao Felix, and attackers at Chelsea Football Club, I think we need a proper, proper coach that will give them one position and will coach them from that position to make them better, just like Vinicius Jr. is getting better and better. So I will keep him but not at any cost if the price is too much and then i will say goodbye because we still have hanchison omari hanchison okay we have uh, um harvey vale we have uh, even um even tino okay we have a lot of options from the academy uh that can play in that place and do even better than joao felix so how much I gave him? 3 out of 10. Okay, very quickly, like I said, they don't deserve my time. So Kovacic, I'm going to give him 3 out of 10. I'm sick and tired of no end product, dribble, 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 and then in the final third, do nothing. No shot on target, no nothing. 3 out of 10. Enzo Fernandez today was kind of disappointing. But I'm not going to get on him, though, because, you know, we have so many issues. Uh, he got dispossessed a lot of time. Just like in the first uh, 
in the first leg at Madrid where he caused a lot of trouble because of his defensive work. Three out of ten. Uh, Chaloba, I'm going to give him three out of ten. He was part of the defense that conceded. And why like Rodrigo was on his own very far away not marked not nothing or probably he would have like taken a yellow card take one for the team take him down or something for the goal that uh, that they scored so three out of ten Engolo Kante four out of ten he was trying he was all over the place trying to save everybody and then when he's in the box he's already tired he can't do anything one of the chances that he had to shoot oh my goodness and off target but i'm not gonna ask too much from Kante. there are people who are paid to score goals and who are not doing anything he wasn't the worst so Kante four out of ten anyways it's getting too long this video kukureya two out of ten headless chicken can't shoot can't score can't pass the ball properly he went back to the old kukureya that we know kai harvet is just kai harvet also headless chicken the final third always a problem raheem sterling when he came off the bench i didn't see anything so i'm gonna give him one out of ten so kai harvet two out of ten kukureya two out of ten and Raheem Sterling is going to get 1 out of 10 because these are the games that you expect one of the most expensive players, the well-paid player to, to give you a moment of magic. It didn't happen. Listen, people, no agenda, no nothing. Leave your comment. Let me know if I forgot somebody here because I don't care. They don't really worth my time or your time shame on you many of them need to be sold next summer and we have to rebuild a brand new team because the mentality the attitude is so crap but guess what i'll be here supporting chelsea no matter what go you blues